What's up guys and welcome to Nutero. I am an energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the general readings for somebody. So before I pull the charm, I do want to say that in my description box, I do have my social medias on there. On Instagram, I do post five or six days a week on my story. I do post spiritual memes and I also give advice in case you want to watch that. And on Snapchat, I do post twice a week. I pull for all zodiac signs. Um, just in case you don't want to wait for your videos to come up to come up on YouTube, you can go and add me on there. All right. Okay. So let's see who needs this reading. Aquarius. Come on, Aqua. Let's see what's going on with you. Let's let's have a chit chat. All right, Aquarius, thanks so much for being here. This message could resonate with you if you have Aquarius as a sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. This could also resonate if you're uh, dealing with an Aquarius or wondering about an Aquarius. The roles will just be reversed, okay? All right, Aqua. Aquarius, bear, what do they have? All right, so I'm going to pull just some energy cards first to see what's in your energy. Then we're going to do the tarot and then some advice at the end, okay? Aquarius. Aquarius, what's going on with Aquarius? What's going on with Aquarius? Thank you. Bottom of the deck is success. Ooh. Ooh. Don't we love to see that? Okay. All right. You could be dealing with an Aries. You could have Aries in your chart. Taking risks. This is um Aries card for me. So there's something here that you guys are taking a risk on, taking a leap of faith, okay? I'm going to clarify what we're going to see. And then you have solitude. A lot of you guys could be wanting to be alone right now, okay? Then you have purification. A lot of you guys could be healing. Healing something, releasing something, crying a lot, okay? You have success at the bottom, and then you have focus and simplicity, all right? So what you don't see coming is the need to focus on one certain thing as well as keep things light and simple only do things that you need to do don't overextend yourself because you're going through a period which looks like to me of healing um of transformation look at that death and rebirth transformation your ego is going through a transformation right now so be nice and kind to yourself that's why you have solitude because the universe kind of wants you to you could be wanting to feel alone whenever we're going through a, a rebirth or a transformation we tend to want to seclude ourselves just because what we're going through is a lot we it's a lot and you just want to just you know don't want to deal with nobody so i definitely feel you taking risks spirit can you clarify taking risks why is taking risks here temperance sagittarius energy okay death card the lovers and the eight of wands a lot of you guys are taking a risk here when it comes to a relationship here okay um because things really aren't moving forward right now so it's like you're you're taking to to you this is a risk aquarius um i, I think it's a risk because you've never done this before or or you have never done, you've never done it quite like this is what i'm gonna say but it really to me is not really a risk what i'm feeling it's more like you're taking the time and the energy to heal yourself, um, to balance out energies, to, to make sure that you give to this person and yourself as well, to make sure that you're doing the due diligence. Um, and, you know, I feel like it's, you're just doing this differently or maybe you've never done this before with anybody else or put as much effort or care into this death and rebirth here. You're definitely going to a transformation. OK, and I think your relationship is as well. And that's why things are kind of like at a stalemate, okay? Eight of Pentacles, yeah, no one's working towards this. Eight of Swords in reverse. You're, 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 you're wanting to get yourself out of this mental block that you're in right now. And that's what you're focused on. That's what you're you're doing right now, which is good, Aquarius. Yeah. Cahoots to you, right? Solitude, Spirit. Can you clarify solitude? Why is solitude here? A lot of you guys could want to be alone to... Um, to heal these energies you have the knight of wands uh why you heard me knight of wands this is a knight of cups here so do you see this guy and how he has the flowers in his hand and he's being so cutesy and so romantic okay i feel like a lot of you guys but this is really good a lot of you guys are wanting to make a decision based off your heart space here you're, you're trying to think 
That's why you kind of want to be alone, okay? Because you want to kind of see what you really want. How do you really feel about something here, okay? The star card, the tower, and the ace of swords. A lot of you guys could be losing hope, okay? A lot of you guys could be losing hope, but that's just because the situation is refusing to change, okay? There is, you can't, you're not seeing things clearly because Nothing is changing. Things are being the same. But I feel like the universe is pushing you to change. So you can be the um, the starter point to this situation. Okay? But, you know, things aren't clear right now because the energies aren't balanced. And you have to kind of just be by yourself right now as well. Okay? This change has to happen. This is a tower card here. This change absolutely has to happen. Once this change happens, the truth will come and your wish is going to be right after that. Now, this tower card is going to be a situation where it's not going to feel so hot. It's not. It's not going to look hot. Okay? Seven of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, and then Three of Cups. You, you're going to find out some things here. Okay? Things are going to be revealed to you. And it's like, I feel like a lot of you guys, once you find that out, it's like, you're like, well, I don't even know if I, if I really wanted to find that out in the first place. But you guys don't want to be single here, okay? I do see a celebration with... This could be with family or friends, but I don't really feel that. But for some of you, it could be, okay? The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. It's like your home life isn't happy right now. But it's not happy because things aren't clear. Things aren't balanced. So, purification is breaking. Clarify purification. Seven of Wands. I think a lot of you guys, like, you're, um, you're, you're wanting to be this romantic, you're wanting to be this cutesy person, but, like, I feel like you have to let go of, of a lot of things in order for that to happen, and you're realizing that. Like, things from the past is what I feel, or, like, um, traumas, whatever. The Seven of Wands is here to clarify the purification, so I feel like, I feel like you were pushed into this energy. I feel like the outside world was challenging you a lot. And you were pushed into, okay, now I have to heal. Now I have to try to find a way to get over this, to, you know, to just clean myself out. The Six of Pentacles here. Five of Wands and the Page of Swords. There was some communication here that happened. Um, and it could have started up an argument, right? Or uh, whatever. But this argument is what pushed you to this. That could have been what the Tower card was there, right? The Tower card could have led into a huge argument here. Um, and it was like, arguing back and forth. All right, there definitely could be some spying. Okay, I feel like maybe some of you guys aren't speaking to this person right now. Things weren't being fair. Things weren't equal give and take. That's why this conversation was had. The conversation was about something not being fair, whether that was you or them. Okay, the judgment in reverse, someone refusing to make a decision. Okay, Aquarius. This is crazy energy. All right, so let's see what's going on with the tarot for you. Not, not that it's crazy energy, but y'all yeah, going through some, something. But you yeah, have success at the bottom of the deck. So, like, I don't feel like I don't feel like, like this is so heavy. I feel like the way you're taking it is heavy. Like, I feel like you're like, oh my god, the world is gonna end, but it's not really. You have success at the bottom of the deck, so you guys are gonna get over this very quickly. Aquarius, what's going on? Thank you. What else? Your intuition is talking to you. A lot of you guys could be empaths or have cancer in your chart. Thank you. What else? So you're all up in your feelings. Yeah, you're all up in your feelings. Like you're all up in your feelings. And that um, might not make you feel so comfortable to be all up in your feelings because you're usually all up in your head, right? You're usually all up in your head. And now that you're in your feelings, it might feel like, wait, is this even like it might be weird for you? You have the justice, the reverse, page of pentacles, and the six of wands, okay? Ah, there's there's some dishonesty, some unfairness, okay. We saw that with the six of pentacles. You have the queen of cups here. So there's something that you're nurturing, I think it's yourself. I think you guys are just being compassionate and being supportive of yourself right now. But we're going to clarify, we're going to see. Then you have the ten of cups. So there's something here that still makes you happy. It could be your, your family here, okay? Family dynamic. We're going to clarify. Then you have the seven of cups. There's some illusions in your space, okay? There's illusions, okay? I think I think fear is getting to you here. But let's see. A lot of you guys could just be indecisive about something or have a lot of options. We're going to clarify, though. 
and see what's going on in God. All right. Queen of Cups, Barry. Can you clarify the Queen of Cups? Why is the Queen of Cups here? The Fool. All right. So I feel like you guys are taking this new leap of faith where you're going to be a little more caring, a little more, um, a little more compassionate, a little more open. Okay. The moon. Yeah. Like I said, the fear, seven of swords and the 10 of swords. Yeah. I mean the, your fear, there is fear here. Okay. There is fear. And I feel like there's fear because there's people that are challenging your energy here. People are challenging you and it's like, you're just like tired of it. You're legit tired of it. You're like, you know what? I'm tired of everybody telling me how to do it, how I should do, how I should move, but, 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 but. I'm going to move and do how I feel is good for me, okay? With the moon here, there is illusions, okay? There's fear, but you're still but you're still taking a leap of faith even though you don't know how it's going to turn out. The Hierophant, the Two of Pentacles, and the Star. Look at that. Because you're following your morals. You're following your values. You're following you and not anybody else. Great energy, Aquarius. Great energy. Ten of Cups, great. Can you clarify Ten of Cups? Why are the Ten of Cups here? the hanged man yeah a lot of you guys are changing your perspective and you're like you know what you know what i love these people in my life i love these people whether it's a family dynamic a friendship a work whatever you love these people in your life and you're like i have to change it's like i feel like a lot of you guys are realizing that it's you or that the way that you're looking at it is what's causing these these blockages these illusions queen of swords four pentacles Four of Pentacles. You guys are letting go of a certain mindset. Uh, the Empress and the Four of Swords. Yeah, you guys are. You guys are this energy of creating love right now. You're creating love, and that is what that is what you are focused on right now is creating love. You're not in your head anymore about it. You know exactly what you have to do. And the Queen of Cups is here again. It's here again. You're nurturing this energy. You're nurturing this love. King of Wands. You're feeling yourself. <laughs> you're feeling yourself. You're feeling real good, Aquarius. And as well, you should. As well, you should. Okay, this is going to be a very easy reading for you, Aqua. I appreciate you. <laughs> Seven of Cups, spirit. Yeah, here's the illusions. Five of Pentacles. Okay. Whack. Page of Wands, the Devil, the Ten of Swords. Um, the Nine of Swords, I'm sorry. Ten of Swords is also you had enough. And I feel like your soul, your spirit has had enough of, of you um, consistently worrying, Okay. So you there's an illusion right now in your space, okay? Let me let me see. But you're obsessing over whatever this is. One second. You're really obsessing over um whatever this is. Let me just see. Spirit, what is the illusion? Seven of Cups. What's the illusion here for Aquarius? What's the illusion? What's the illusion here for Aquarius spirit? So there's a decision that you're not making because you think it's easier if you don't make the decision what Aquarius <laughs> six of cups because because there could be children involved okay and the knight of cups is here somebody could be offered something to you but that's what I feel I feel like there's an important decision that you have to make you're not making the decision because you feel like it'll be easier less of a problem less of a hassle if you don't make the decision if you don't make up you you, you have to it's a, the judgment it's an important decision it's going to affect you and other people that's why you have justice here things aren't fair that's not fair for you aquarius that you won't make a decision because it's a hard decision or because you're trying to find the easy way out that's not nice okay that's not nice i'm gonna tell you that's not nice <laughs> page of wands this because you are not making a decision you feel left out okay this there could be the other energy that's making you feel left out 14 14 i just saw you also um all these illusions are creating you making you feel like you're alone like you don't have any help but that's just because the page of wands of reverse your, your creativity your creative spark is like not working right now because you're really stressing out you're really stressing out to the point where it's becoming an obsession now you're really stressing out about this and Stressing out isn't going to help it, Aquarius. You have to put action. Make a choice. You, you got to do it. Um, you're delaying this choice and it's creating illusions in your space. 
it's creating it's making you feel and see things that really it's not that they're not there but it's not that way it's not it's not the way you're looking at it it's not the way you're feeling it it's completely different but because you're in a certain mindset uh you it's like your mind is tricking you it's making you think or see things that's that's like it's not it's not you have to get yourself out of this aquarius okay because it's not fair for you or the other parties involved in the situation okay all right let's see what your advice is aquarius aquarius i also um i feel like a lot of you guys um could be could be taking a risk here to level out some energies to balance things out here because you want to be able to make this decision I feel like a lot of you guys want to be able to make this decision, but it's like you want to make sure it's, the, it's you make the right choice, which I understand that. Aquarius, what's the advice here for Aquarius? Three, what's the advice? Thank you. Is there more than one? I want more, one more. One more card, spirit, please, for the Aquarius. One more card. Thank you. Bottom of the deck is flamingo. Find balance, practice moderation. Yeah, I mean, you have the temperance card here. You have to find balance in something here, okay? You, um, things are just, un things are just uneven right now. Things are just unbalanced. You're pouring more energy in a certain, you're pouring your energy more in a certain area of your life than the other one, okay? The first card you have is seagull. And this says, look at the bigger picture, bird's eye view. Yeah, with the hanged man, you're, you, you're changing your perspective. They want you to look at the bigger picture, right? Um, when it comes to this decision is what I feel. You've got to look at the bigger picture for whatever situation is going on with you. Okay, it's not more about, it's not about the decision. It's more about what the decision is going to create. It's about the people that are in that, that involved in that decision. Okay. And then you have sailors not. Okay detanglement i mean entanglement energetic cords ties and bonds yeah i mean this is just basically saying like you're energetically tied to somebody here okay that's why they want you to find balance and moderation here also slow down and be patient with a sea turtle but it's like things got there's there's things that right now are entangled. There's there's a, an, an entanglement, okay? Things are kind of just like, it's a mess. It's a mess. And the universe wants you to go in there and even this stuff out. They're calling you to do that, okay? Um, you could also be energetically tied to another person here where your energies are tied together. Um, and you guys feel like you guys are always drawn to each other, okay? You guys need space. You need to be alone right now. That's basically what that card is telling me. All right, and as well as fix this knot that's in there, untie it, make things loose and fresh again. All right, that's all that I have for you, Aquarius. I hope, I hope this brought some clarity or some guidance into your situation. And yeah, have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive.